Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Slurf coin in less than 10 minutes using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer. So if all that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn even more Slurf coin in less amount of time. So before we dive into the video, I always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you are watching this in the future. So if you're not interested in this, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the mining tutorial then. But as you can see here, the overall crypto market is up just a little bit today to about 2.59 trillion, up about 0.89%. And of course, Bitcoin and Ethereum looking fairly similar there. But overall on the seven day chart, we are seeing a lot of red. Um, we are seeing a little bit of movement in meme coins today, Dogecoin, uh, Shiba Inu going up as well, um, but overall looking pretty good. Now, as we continue to get closer to the Bitcoin halving, which is in 11 days, what is the best coin to mine? A lot of people are talking about this, and right now I think Slurf is one of the more interesting coins. It is a meme token based on the Solana network, and the Solana network has been getting a lot of attention lately, so very, very cool to see that. Now, of course, right now this coin is about 41 cents per coin, down about 39% overall since it released in early March this year, so only a few weeks ago. But of course it did peak up at $1.20, so even if it was to get back up to there, mining it now would be a great investment hold. On the day, it's down about 0.1%, but nothing crazy. Uh, the week, of course, looking a little bit worse. But how do you go ahead and start mining this? We are using a site called Unminable, which allows you to mine cryptocurrency using algorithms that are profitable for your hardware and get paid out in the token of your choice, in this case, Slurf. So I know for me, Kapow is the best algorithm for my hardware, but what I would recommend is if you're not sure what algorithm to use, go check out the site whattomine.com. It allows you to enter in the hardware that you have specifically and will tell you the best algorithm to mine and earn the most profit. Once you know that, you can come back to Unminable and go ahead and select Get Started with our wizard. Here you're going to have Basic and Advanced. I will say Basic is going to be good for 99% of people using this platform, but if you're interested in specifying your region, your ports, your servers, worker name, all of that, you can go ahead and go with Advanced. But I'm going to go with Basic here. Now, the next step is your hardware. If you're mining with CPU, feel free to choose that. It will just give you some different algorithm choices or actually eliminate them all together. But I'm going to be going with GPU here. And as you can see, the next step is picking your mining algorithm. So here's where you would choose what's best for you. I will say that if you have a mostly modern GPU going back to the uh, 20 series on NVIDIA, Kapow is most likely going to be the best algorithm for you. But of course, depending on when you're watching this video, if this is six months in the future, this could be very different. So I do always recommend doing your own research on what to mine and other sites before just picking Kapow. But if you have less than six gigs of uh, VRAM, you may wanna choose some of these other algorithms in here. But I'm gonna go ahead and choose Kapow. Here you'll choose Slurfcoin. Now, if you were watching this video and are interested in any of the other coins here on Unminable, go ahead and choose that. But of course, we are looking at Slurf today, so that is what I'm going to choose. At this point, you are ready to enter in your wallet address. Now, I will say, please double and triple check your address and make sure it is correct. If this address is incorrect, see if I delete this lowercase v, nothing happens. It says my address is compatible with the SOL network, Solana network. but because I'm missing that lowercase v, I would not be able to get paid out. It will still mine, it will still report here on the site, but you will not get paid out. So please double and triple check that that is correct. And finally, the last step here is a referral code. Now I do have a referral code. It is just Bitcoin-Tips, capital B, capital T. 
If you want to help out the channel a little bit and save some money, I recommend you use this referral code. And where it really comes in handy is it's going to help you by giving you a 25% discount on the pool mining fee. So here on Unminable, the mining fee is a set 1%. So if you mine 100 slurf coin, it doesn't matter if you mine that in 10 minutes, 10 weeks, if the coin is 40 cents or $40, you're always going to pay that one coin for every 100 you mine. If you use my code Bitcoin Tips here, just like you see it on screen, you will only pay 0.75%, allowing you to keep more of the Slurf token that you are working hard to mine. So I highly recommend using that, but of course, if you don't want to, feel free to choose continue without referral code, but you will be paying that higher fee. So at this point, you can go ahead and say next, and I will call out that this referral code works with any of the coins. So even if you were following this tutorial, but with a different coin, please feel free to use this code. At this point, you are at the final step where you will choose your miner and download it to get started. I recommend Gminer. This is what I personally have been mining with and had a lot of luck. It also supports both major graphics cards manufacturers, NVIDIA and AMD. So that's a plus as well. If you decide to go with something else like Team Red Miner or T Rex Miner, uh, these only support one of the two GPU manufacturers, so keep that in mind. So, once you choose your miner, go ahead and select Download Miner Files, and this will take you to the GitHub where you can select the Windows 64 zip. This will download it to your computer. You will have to extract these files. If you don't extract them, they will not work. The other thing I want to call out here is when you download these, as well as the next step, choosing download.bat, you will actually get a pop-up in your browser and possibly even Windows Defender saying, hey, you're downloading an unverified file. Are you sure you want to do this? You are going to have to say yes if you want to continue mining. If you're not comfortable with that, unfortunately, there is no workaround. You will just have to say no, remove from my downloads, and that will be the end of your mining journey. It's not just an unminable thing. It's not just a G miner thing. Uh, it's going to happen with most, if not all, mining pools, programs, and you know, software out there. So I do like to call it out. I personally have used it on my personal computer as well as a number of GPU mining rigs over the years, and I've never had any issues. But if you are not comfortable doing it, then just simply don't. Um, but yes, yeah, so like I said, once you get the miner files downloaded and extracted, you'll click this download.bat file. This is going to download the Windows batch file with this text in it, basically telling the pool who's mining and where to pay you out, and that you have this Bitcoin Tips referral code to save on the fee. So once you download that, go ahead and drag and drop it into your G miner or replace that, you know, with whatever miner you got folder. And as you can see here, I have unminable slurf kapow G miner dot BAT. At this point, you can double click this file to get started. As you can see here, I have a Windows Defender pop up. I do have to say more info and run anyway. Again, if you're not comfortable with that, unfortunately, there is no workaround. But at this point, we are 8 minutes and 20 seconds into the video, and as you can see here, we are mining Slurf using my RTX 2080. Now, of course, that included a little bit of intro with uh, coin market cap, looking at coins, and all of the other tips and tricks along the way. So, in less than 10 minutes, we are up and running here mining Slurf. Now, a few other things I want to call out about mining with Unminable before wrapping up the video. When you start the miner like you see that I just did, it will take 15 to 30 minutes, possibly even up to an hour for stats to start reporting here on the site. That is completely normal. Just let the miner run and if it is looking similar to this, you're not seeing any major red text, you are mining and it should start reporting. If you don't see any reporting in an hour, there may be something wrong and you can definitely leave a comment down below. Happy to help troubleshoot that. And on the other side, when you're done mining, all you have to do is come up here to the X and close out that command prompt window. As long as it is no longer open, showing up on the taskbar or anything, you are no longer mining. With that being said, you will actually continue to see stats and possibly even payments to your unminable balance for up to an hour afterwards. That is completely normal, and as long as that window is closed, you are no longer mining. 
So it's a little bit of a weird thing that happens, and I've seen it go for uh, up to 12 hours after stopping it. I've gotten payments. So it's a little weird, but hey, at least you're still earning some cryptocurrency. So with that being said, that is everything. As you can see, it is extremely easy to get started mining with GPU or CPU using Unminable today. So if you do want to use this site and program, the link will be down below as well as my Bitcoin Tips referral code to save you 25% on your pool mining fee. And if you do decide to get started and run into any issues, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I am always happy to try and help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And if you haven't done so already, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with your friends and family to get more people into the crypto mining ecosystem and for you to stay up to date on all things crypto. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.